All right, this is a peak transformation program, Playing With Tastes 14K, and this is a material sample. Um, so first of all, the materials you're gonna need for stimuli A, you're going to need edible items. For us, we used popcorn, chocolate chips, graham cracker, and then cookies. Um, so we just have all of our food ready to go for this program, graham crackers, and then just chips away to cookies. Um, for B, we need a textual word. We used pox, vex, sand, and zim, and those are just ready on note cards that we'll probably laminate just to protect them a little bit more. So there's those four. And then C, our preferred toys. So we went on ahead and pulled a toy car, a ball, a dinosaur, and Play-Doh for the fourth class. Um, for Y, edible items that are identical to A. So again, we have popcorn, chocolate chip, graham cracker, and cookie that I showed you. So same as stimuli A. And for Z, you're gonna use the array of preferred toy objects that are identical to C. So you're basically targeting, they're gonna ask them to play with something different from what you tasted. So for example, what we would want to get out of this first one is anything but the toy car. So the ball, the dinosaur, or the Play-Doh. We're gonna run a demo of this um, that you can also view, but this just kind of gives you an idea of what the materials would be for this program. There's three steps to it, so for um, step one, you're going to train A to B. So you're going to provide the taste and these flashcards, and you're going to say find the same. So if they taste popcorn, they would pick pox. If they tasted a chocolate chip, they would pick vex. Graham cracker, sand, and cookie is equal to zim. So that's how you would train A to B. You would prompt, reinforce, praise, things like that for that process. For train B to C, you would present the words, so those cards that I just showed you, and an array of the objects, so those four items that I showed you, and you would say find different, okay? And then the third trial, um, or the third block would be test Y to Z, which you would be testing so you would not be prompting, reinforcing, or giving any feedback. You're gonna give them the edible item and the array of those objects. Play with something different from what you tasted. So again, if you gave them popcorn, they would pick anything but that toy car. Chocolate chip, anything they picked but the ball. Graham cracker, anything but the dinosaur. And cookie, anything but the Play-Doh. Um, and so again, that just kind of gives you a run through of what the materials might look for this. And again, please reference the demo um, for this Peak Transformation 14K program to get just kind of a better overall view of how to run this program.